like Stitches Creates. And I'm Ash from Stitch Wrecked. And welcome to our channel about Count Across Stitch and the project bags I make. It is Tuesday, March 15th. This is episode 32. Welcome. Welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, we appreciate you coming back and seeing us again. And welcome if you are a new subscriber. We've had a couple of new people and with Common Threaded Stitcher going on, I've had new people on my Instagram and visiting on our channel. So welcome to you too. Hopefully you'll like what you see and subscribe and come back and visit again. So two weeks ago, um, we did a giveaway and we had two charts up for grabs. One was a Sue Hillis, here's my heart, the four cute little patterns, and we did the random comment picker, and Candy, the 614 Stitcher, you won, yay! <laughs> and no, I did not pick her, she watched. It was all computer. And then we also had um, Mary Mary Needleworker by Lindy Stitches, and Fair Rose, you won. Um, Candy, obviously I know where to find you. Fair Rose, if you would email me at the email in our description box and let me know where I can send this to. So congratulations to both of you. So, it's been a week? regular life. Maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, been a I week. Know. I've been in overtime land, so. Yeah. She's been working a lot. Don't know what day it is anymore. I've been sewing a lot. But we do have needle cross stitch to show you. I do anyway. I and mean, you do I too. I did some. I think yeah. I went into like reclusive stitching for maybe like two days and then I had to go back to overtime land. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of the same way. I only really stitched over the weekend. I didn't do a lot of evening stitching because I've been trying to catch up on some special orders with project bags and whatnot, so. Um, we did get a market. Yep. There will be a lot of haul. And I went away last week overnight with my hubby, and we got to visit Riverview Stitching in Monroe, Michigan, which is owned and operated by the designer Ori TM. So I got to meet her, beautiful little shop. Um, it's in an old church. It's, it's gorgeous. And I fangirled a little bit, made an idiot of myself. What else is new? I will show you what I got from her there at that shop when we do haul. Um, why don't you go ahead? So I've only been working on my mirabilia. It's called monk's hood i think i showed this one mm -hmm. last week and yep. i don't have a needle winder on it so ignore my flying <laughs> needle but i kind of filled in these bits out here um yeah you're making a lot of progress on that i think it's the hood maybe i think it is a hood it looks like wings to me so i don't know i did the the flappy bits. <laughs> Forgot to turn my phone off. Sorry, that was the news. Um, and then I worked some more on Narnia, which you may not be able to tell because there's more blue. So I did this blue and that blue and the third blue. And then now I'm working on The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's supposed to be backstitched. Um, Take in mind that I learned how to cross stitch maybe six, seven months ago, so I'm still trying to figure out what back stitching is. So I'll probably we'll go over it again. Take that out. It makes sense, but then it doesn't make sense when you're doing it on your own. So well, I will show mine too. I was working on mine over the weekend. I'm still behind. Um, we're both still on part one. Part two came out. Um, part three comes out on the 26th. So we've both got to get going. Um, I got finished putting in Chronicles of, I had the before, and then I started on the blue. I had, I don't remember if I had finished all the purple, but I think no, you did all the purple back then. The purple was oh, off, yeah. so I'll put in before and after pictures for both of them. 
So, yeah. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting into this one this time. Um, I love Kristen's stitching book club patterns and I'm not sure what it is right now that I just can't get myself really into it. And maybe partly because I'm behind and I hate being behind. So, um, yeah, it's, this is my first pattern, um, by her. So I kind of get how you felt. At least that's how I felt when it was the top row with the different colors. I think once you yes. hit the blue, it'll be a little bit better because it's just blue, but it's different blues. Like, I'm not going to lie. I may or may not have used the same blue for some rows that I shouldn't have. But if you take off your glasses, who's gonna know other than tear? turn your head over, squint a little, and you won't tell. It is what it is. Um, I also worked on my phone. Um, I was stitching. I'm sort of doing March challenge just <laughs> when I feel like it. So I have put things up for a vote. So over the weekend I was working on um, Cat's Reflection and I'll put up where I was before and now I've got his toes in and the hump of his back and his tail. So next time I work on it, I'll get his face and then I'll have two cats. So, and that one went up against um, Giving Thanks. And this is Giving Thanks by Little House Needleworks. And it says, I'm thankful for my daily bread and also for my cross stitch thread. So I'll put up where I was. And then now I've got the border and I finished putting in the spool of thread. So these two ran neck and neck. This one was ahead when I first posted it for the first like 12 hours. And then this one pulled ahead and won. So this one will be coming back out again. Um, I also worked on the winner from I had put um, Home of a Needleworker up against Rebel Stitcher's um, oh, Patrick O'Shanahan, the Leprechaun. And, oops, that away. Home of a Needleworker won, so that's that one. And I'll put up where it was last time I was working on it. And then that's where I am now. So I put in the spool and the scissors and I finished bringing this down and got that flower and those little, so it's coming along. It's really pretty actually. I love this. I love this. This yes. color is like absolute gorgeous in life. Um, I forget what, let's see what color is that. I can't see it. Sorry. So, <laughs> I'll look at I'll put it down below, but it's really, really pretty um, color. So this one and this one are both on the same piece of fabric. Um, because they're similar themes, I wanted them on the same piece, and that's Be Stitch Me Badlands. So, and this, the cat is on a tote bag from Live and Die LA that I got in my Christmas, my um, <laughs> Black Needle Society. Black Needle, well, no, I was just thinking it wasn't called Christmas. It's uh, the Niceless Box from Black Needle ah. Society. So that came in December and I opened it. It was Christmas time for me. So that's the stitching that I've done. Just the, the four things. Um, Last week, I forgot to pick one of the Black Needle Society challenge cards. I'm not sure if anyone's stitching along with me. Um, this week was stitch on a piece with clothes, and I didn't do that. <laughs> Unless Stitching Book Club has something with clothes in it later. I didn't stitch on clothes, so. Um, but 
It was funny because Athena forgot on her video last week to pick one too. So she picked it and put it on uh, Instagram. So, but I have it all out tonight so I wouldn't forget. And, ooh, okay, stitch on a piece that's over 250 by 250 stitches. In other words, a BAP. And if you don't know what a BAP is, it's a big A piece. <laughs> so we won't say the middle word in case there are youngsters in the room. But, so. I can lend you one of my Mirabilias. <laughs> no, I actually have one. I'm Dorney Lane by Rosewood Manor. I need oh. to get to that. That's my, um. Yeah, that's, that's giant. That's my, <laughs> one of my Whipgo pieces. And actually, the Christmas stocking is too. That's, the one from hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if you, if you calculate it out, because it's full coverage, yeah. So either one of those. And I need to work on both of them. I told myself Christmas. no 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 I need to get that done so I can work on the grandson's Christmas stocking because I want to get that done too but you can get that done in a fortnight possibly possibly so you have till Christmas or you have a fortnight before Christmas yep okay um should I show Riverview stitching mm -hmm. and then you can do your and then I'll do mine Okay, so I have my bag. Partially because I want to see my goodies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because a couple of things in here are for Ashley. Um, I got a few couple of skeins of DMC that I needed for Patrick O'Shanahan that I couldn't find. Um, I talked about that last week, so now I've got those to put in that kit. Um, a couple of these things are new from market, but I'll show you a couple of the older things that I got. Um, these are by, this is by OriTM. Survivors, those who can ask for coffee in any language. Which I can do in multiple languages. Ashley is multilingual. Ashley speaks fluently. How many languages? Um, technically I only speak Spanish and English fluently. Um, French would be an intermediate language, but I can definitely ask for coffee. And I think if I still remember, because I wrote it down, I can also ask for coffee in Arabic. <laughs> Why I need to know that, I do not know. You know Mr. Dorney can too. So I will ask him for coffee. There you go. So. And I had her, I asked her to sign the back. So, of course, you know, I got that for Ashley. And then another one. That's that's an older older um, chart from Ori TM. And then this one is really cute. It's called Just Saying Notes About Friendship. And why don't you read the post-its because I don't have my glasses on. All righty. So the first post-it says... When I said I won't, and tell it, and, ooh, that's swirled. Okay. <laughs> when I said I won't, tell anyone my best friend doesn't count. The next one is best friend. It's a noun. Perfect person to com commit a crime with. And the third one says, we are not friends. We are unbiological sisters. So, those are cute. So this one is signed as, whoop, showing the pattern again. Oh my goodness. We'll blur that out. But, sorry. <laughs> so that one's signed too. And this will be a giveaway. Um, probably in April for our one year anniversary. Floss tube anniversary. I've got a couple of things I've got aside here. So that'll be a giveaway. Um, this was a cute one that I saw and I thought might make a great small. And that says 10 best ways to relieve stress. One, eat a handful of chocolate. Two, repeat nine times. So. There is plenty of chocolate around. In case you're wondering. Always. So, 
On to New for Market. This is another Ori TM. Eternity, time it takes coffee to brew in the morning. And that one is also signed. Happy stitching. Then another release from Market that I got that's not an Ori TM. This is a Putini Putini. And when I think of stitching, I just like that cute little pillow. And then um, from Noteworthy Needle, this is a kit and it's Little Bee Thimble Box. And I have not opened it up yet, but that little box is in there. She, she assured me that it's in there. It's like a little bamboo. It kind of does like an origami thing. I haven't opened it yet to see. So those were the ones I got from Riverview. It's not Monday. I forgot what I was doing for a hot second. <laughs> Don't work overtime. Yep. So I think I'll show this one first because I was very excited. Um, this was kind of like the Marvel superhero themed flosses from Fiber & Co. Um, each one of them is after a different superhero slash villain. So it was a whole set and then yet the different patterns. Um, there's 12 of them. I won't show all of them because it's It'll take forever and ever. But these colors, I mean, they're yes. really showing up very true on here. They are gorgeous. Yes. Um, it's a whole set. You know, I saw it on Instagram and I was like, I don't need that. And then I was like, oh, I need that. So I picked this up. Um, yeah. I just, I love superheroes. Superheroes and coffee. So. And then... I also got this right here. It's really cute. It's called A Parliament of Owls, and it's by Kathy Barrick. Mm -hmm. That's um, Liz Matthews' mother. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. Well, and we met Liz Matthews at Stitch, Stitch Away, Away in January. But I got this. It's really cute. That's her mom. Um, I also got Moogie Manor. Plug was fine. Um, and this one's by Blue Flower. So, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Mm -hmm. So, I hopefully will get around to that All her animals are adorable. This year, yes. And I discovered the primitive hair. Why I did not know them before, I do not know. But I got both the sun and the moon. So, this right here is the sun queen of needles. And then I also got the Moon Queen of Needles. So, I have a lot of stitching to do. Because, you know, I have nothing to stitch on. Nope. Not at all. Never. Never. Okay. So, you saw my haul from Riverview. Now from our local LNS, which is where Ashley got hers from. Keepsakes here in Cincinnati. Um, things that I ordered were from Ingleside Imaginarium, and this is from their Magical Menagerie series, the Hippocampus. What can be better than a horse and a mermaid, or a horse and a seahorse? A seahorse that looks like a horse. You could also take a look at, I think it's called Bestiary, mm -hmm. is another one that she does, um, which is really cute. And look at that, that <laughs> week. So bright. Um, chartreuse. Weak chartreuse. But. It's, I mean, it looks good on that. Mm -hmm. It's just so bright. I'll probably be starting that too. That'll probably go against something this week. I got from Erica Michaels, the sewing bee. And this one, I, you know, I was doing some shopping in the hospital the night I brought my son in. And I'm not sure if I meant to order this one or not, or if I meant to order a different one. But it's still cute, so I'll keep it. And it even comes with 
charms and buttons. Um, I also got a blue flower. I got the um, Spring Forest scrapbook, the part two. We have a snail, raccoons. Um, those are red pandas. Foxes, no, red pandas. Maybe. And cute little critters. They're adorable. I love them. So, oh, and I know that's a bear. That's a bear. She said that. Um, if you don't watch Janine, um, Janine, oh no, I'm questioning myself. I have the wrong name. Sorry. Blue Flower has her own, um, Instagram, not Instagram. She does have an Instagram. Floss Tube. I'm so bad with names. I don't know why I say anything. Anyway, so from Pickle Barrel Designs, cross stitch to do list. Wow, it's really showing. There we go. So, cross stitcher to do list, buy fabric, buy thread, buy more fabric, buy new charts, talk about fabric, and start stitching. <laughs> Which, that's pretty much the order it goes, isn't it? <laughs> You buy at least five different projects before you start stitching the one you were excited about like mm -hmm. three months ago. And then this was a market exclusive. Um, Ashley and I are going to share this. So it's from Primitive Hair Cross Stitch Collector. It comes with the linen and the board to finish it on. So. I'm not sure which one of us is going to stitch it first, probably. It'll probably end up being me. <laughs> so, And I'm probably going to change some of the colors, too. I think and I do it on too. a different fabric. Yeah, I won't go that far. I'm only changing colors. <laughs> I've got lots of fabric. I can do that. I don't. <laughs> um, so surprising that that's all. I've got the Nashville Needlework Market cookbook coming. That's got recipes and cross stitch patterns in it. And I've got a bag that's from, that was made by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. That's coming from Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Um, I have to get with Bobby. I may buy something else from her too, because hey, can't travel by itself, right? So. But other than that, I think that's all. I haven't gotten any new fabric. I haven't either. I'm trying to keep my hands away from my card and the online. Let's go a little. That's yours. I forgot about this. What is that? So I think this is a fob, a scissors fob. Is pins. That? It says pins collection. It goes on on the scissors. That's what I saw it ah, on. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I I had to. I just. I oh, you could put it to. on a zipper pull too. Mm, on one of your cloth bags. That's true. That's cute. Yeah. I forgot about that completely. That's, so that goes with your moon and your... My sun and moon um, needle workbook. Needle books. That one. Mm -hmm. You know, I will get around to that eventually. I'll probably lose all my needles before I make those, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, goodness. I think that's all that I have. Yep. Um, I will try to be good this week. I may get packaged next week. I receive packages and I don't know where they're coming from because I forgot that I ordered them. So, yep. I will try to be good. My only other haul was fabric, um, but I can't show it to you because I've already made it into bags. It was for a special order and it's already gone out to be mailed. So, I can't show you that. I've been working on, um, thank you to those of you that signed up for the March quarterly bag. We sold out, sold out in an hour, so thank you very much. Um, 
Those are really cute, by the way. I will be working on those this week. And I said I was going to start invoicing today, and I'm not. I'm going to wait until um, Monday the 21st to start invoicing because I'll have them um, ready to be boxed up by that point. I, I don't like taking your money before it's ready to go out the door. So, But other than that... Um, you do have one bag that you've put up on Instagram, which mm -hmm. is the Encora print, I believe. Yep, the green and Rebel Stitcher Colleen showed... Um, a green and orange one, and of course, I do not have it in this room. <laughs> I have four of, of them available if you're interested. And, you know, if you have fabric that you need made into a bag, contact me. I'm always willing to try and help you out. So, I think that's about it for us. So, we will see you next week. Happy stitching.